Once in New Orleans there was a terrible storm. Many people ran away. Many houses were drowned by Katrina's angry water. But one man wanted to save his business. Satan. And he stayed, repairing damage from the flood by Katrina, paddling in a canoe on the water. He believed he was sent on a journey by God, a journey that would test the strength of love against the power of racism. In Say Tune by Dave Eggers. Say Tune lived happily, building a business and a loving family. Say Tune loved living by the sea until it came. That stormy fright, Katrina with all her might. Eggers writes concrete examples and uses a lyrical, sincere tone that captures the heart of Zaytun and the love within his home. We learn about his Muslim past as well as the past of his wife and the struggles that they endure when Hurricane Katrina and racism collide. His family left, but Satan stayed, repairing the houses, working all day. He traveled by canoe, aiding other citizens and giving supplies. Please come meet us, his wife would plead. But Zaytun believed he was on a mission from God. He stayed in New Orleans until mandatory evacuation was declared. But on its way, the rescue helicopter crashed. Zaytun was stranded until a group of armed men arrested him without being told his charges. And they sent him off to jail without even a try. His family was so worried as Zaytun suffered, but somehow they posted bail. The family was together once more. Zaytun was accused of terrorist activity simply because of his religion. Through his writing, Eggers demonstrates the delicate state of constitutional rights in times of emergency. He also illustrates the corruption of power when checks and balances are skewed. Abuse from the racists, destruction from the tempest, Zaytun faced catastrophe. Zaytun, helping and saving and falling and hurting and suffering and learning but he shouldn't have to. Satan faced catastrophe, but through love and support and family. 